let me introduce you to my playground, okay? I have a really fun playground. Let me show you around. Over here you see we have this coral reef mound that I found somewhere. One of the branches looks like a D. That's where I put my cool knife over here as you can see. I have this structure here that I made out of sugar. I like to leave my lemon over here with a picture of a lake on it. I have my cool desks over here that I like to leave my Reese's chocolate on top as you see over here. And I always have this hippo who comes to join me and flies over my playground here. I am just so super awesome, don't you think? Hey, welcome to our scene on Cory disease, represented by this guy in his playground who has this mound of coral reef. Coral reef, coral, for Cory disease. And the reason why there's this random tree over here is that was remember three, tree for three, as Cory disease is type three of the glycogen storage diseases. Now, if you'll note, he has this branch over here, as he mentioned, that looks like a D. This establishes, remember, the D branching, the D branching enzyme. Cori disease is due to a deficiency of D branching enzyme. That's why he has his knife through it to help us remember the deficiency of it. D branching enzyme is also known as alpha 1 6 glucosidase. Soon we'll see how we're going to remember this alpha 1 6 glucosidase. But what does D branching enzyme do? D branching enzyme helps mobilize glucose as part of glycogenolysis. So in Cori disease, D branching enzyme cannot do its job, and limit dextrin will accumulate. How are you going to remember this? Take a look at these desks over here the limit side, the speed limit. Desks with limit, to help us remember, limit dextrin. Limit dextrin accumulates as deep branching enzyme cannot do its job. And if you'll note, there's Reese's chocolate sitting on top of the desk, cups. remember, autosomal recessive. Now if you take a look, his glue structure over here, his structure that he made out of sugar, which is intact, help us remember that gluconeogenesis is actually intact in this disease, as opposed to in von Gierk disease. This is because the body still has the ability to convert glucose 6-phosphate to glucose from other sources, such as lactate and glycerol. There's also a lemon over here with a picture of a lake on it. Lake for lactic and lemon for acid. Lactic acid. Lactic acid levels in Cori disease are normal, since the cells are still able to undergo gluconeogenesis. The flying hippo, however, is going to help us remember the hypoglycemia seen in Cori disease. Even though the body can undergo gluconeogenesis, since it cannot properly break down glycogen, glucose stores will be limited. And we also note this large liver on his tummy to help us remember the hepatomegaly. Okay, that's our scene on Cori disease, glycogen storage disease type 3. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments. Take care.